Hello Sansom and welcome to your weekly review. So we decide the Nethries, okay? I think for this week's review I would like to uh, see you review your own gameplay footage like you did in the Council Battle video the other day, except this time for Mythic Sire. The guild will be progressing that fight soon and I'd like to go in with some knowledge about how to optimize the fight before I get to it. Particularly interested in how you get the most value out of IQD in that fight too. Thank you. Okay. Uh, well, it should be pretty simple. I'll just bring up my own um, kill video here. I definitely have better VODs than this, but I mean, it was rank 1 at the time I did it, so it wasn't that bad, but like, I look back at, at it now and I like cringe at many things, so but, uh, let's see. Okay, and this is with explosive shot, which you should also be running for proc. And remember the, um, you want the, well, actually, like, some, some, someone suggested this to me recently. So, you know, for phase 1 and 2, the best weapon in Chen is the crit one. But for phase 3, Sinful Revelation is the best weapon in Chen. If you have two 226 weapons, you can actually swap weapons mid-combat. So when you get into phase 3, you swap to the single target enchant weapon. And you start the fight with a AOE enchant weapon. So that's a minor cool min-max you could do. Um, as for chest and chant, you just run. I just run the eternal stats on this. Uh, anything else to know setup wise? Uh, I'd say like if you have, so you should sim different enchants and gems, including haste. And I would go with the highest haste setup that you can get away with because it's gonna make movement easier. Um, so yeah, those are some like pre-fight uh, optimizations you can make. Let's get into the fight. I'm pretty sure I could do the opener wrong here. So aim shot precast is correct. Double steady is also correct. Then you do uh, into CDs aimed rapid. Okay, actually this is fine. So you can basically see the opener here. You go, you know, aim shot precast double steady into CDs aimed rapid. Then double tap explosive shot um, volley. And then. So ideally, you would have a bit more haste than I have here. Or you would maybe skip the rapid fire. And instead, you would do a, an arcane shot. Because you can see here, so this is very, very tight. But okay. Basically, the goal is that you kind of want the explosive shot to land halfway through the cast. And I'll, I'll show you. Actually, let me just uh, sort something out with hardware acceleration in my browser because it's very laggy. Uh, just give me one sec. This is not cutting into the end of the video. And sometimes it needs to be convinced a little bit to uh, actually pick it up. Any moment now. Sorry, I'm just cycling through programs to make it work. I'm sure if you just look at the preview, you can find the point in the where I actually fix this. Da, 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 da. Wow, that's exceptionally annoying. Oh, there we go. Okay, sorry for that. Anyway, so what I was saying is that you kind of want the explosive shot to land in the very middle of the cast, and by doing rapid fire, uh, it kind of takes too long. But if you do an arcane shot, which you know takes less time because a global is one and a half seconds and a rapid fire is two seconds, uh, you can basically find half a second of time there. So that's what I would do different here is after you pop the wild spirits, I would do an arcane shot, and then otherwise do as I do because the problem here is so. Double tap right there, and then I hit the explosive shot, but it's like two seconds instead of one and a half seconds. It would be ideal if that explosive shot had been half a second earlier, because you'll see now. So I volley here, like before the ads spawn, but the ads have already spawned by the time I start casting the aim shot cast. And like, so you see all the ads have spawned, but there's still half a second left on my cast. Imagine if I had, you know, once again, half a second in the bag from casting arcane shot instead of rapid fire. Because what you also see here, okay, so I follow up the aim shot with a rapid fire. By the time the rapid fire is over, basically everything is dead. You see how much half a second can matter here? 
because what you can do and what you should do if you nail the timing on this instead of doing aimed rapid like i did you do aimed aimed rapid but you can only do that if your timing is perfect but if you do that then instead of getting like an aim shot and a rapid fire into the edge which is decent you get two aim shots and part of a rapid fire so yeah and then also very important here so uh like blood price is basically kind of come towards the very end of your cds and it's very important to like dump all of your focus so you'll see here that towards the end of the true shot window i'm not really as the traditional kind of play i do aim shot like i was really aggressive on the aim shots there i didn't hit the rapid fire that was actually a mistake to do the um uh well, it wasn't actually a mistake to do the steady pick. The reason I'm saving rapid fire is because I'm saving it for the next ads. You can see here I'm just spamming these arcanes to dump my focus to nothing. So that when the uh, blood price comes, uh, I'm not focus capping from it. And as soon as I am freed, I do double steady. Okay, and so these ads, you basically just want to... For all consecutive ad waves, you basically, as soon as they spawn, you want to hit the multi-shot and go aimed rapid. Or aimed multi-rapid. Do you see here? They spawn... Insta multi shot, you know, you can probably get react even faster if you're a sweaty gamer. And then into aim shot. And then I don't do the explosive shot, you actually save it for the next uh, set of ads because by the time this blows up, like they're already 50% health and we've barely like blinked. So I just save it for the next ones. Then the multi shot, and then I do rapid fire. And you can see I get some value on this rapid fire. Uh, whereas if I would have done the opposite, like rapid fire into aim shot, they would all have been dead by the time the uh, aim shot had ended. The cool thing with rapid fire is that you're getting damage value while it's casting, whereas aim shot, you only get it if you finish the cast in time. Uh, other than that, pretty standard here. I'll try and speed it up because like we, we're seven minutes into the video and I've only talked about one minute, uh, one minute of uh, content. Okay, so here it's... Um, so, okay, so another thing you should do differently than me and the opener is you really want double tap for this set of ads but like you can see the soak is coming in one and a half seconds and it's five seconds and double tap and the way you fix that is by uh just basically as soon as this aim shot cast ends you do double tap like right now is when you should have done double tap and then you go into your double steady um, because then it'll come off cd sooner and you can use it on these ads that's the only difference so like imagine like so double you would double tap as this cast started then you would do explosive shot then into volley and then aimed rapid fire it's always aimed rapid fire it's never the other way around then if you're a little um, bit fast here um you can sneak in a multi-shot on them which is going to be pretty powerful since it's precise shots uh proc'd and sometimes you can get two casts in and of course like don't save a double tap here like i did that's a mistake i didn't learn that until farm all right let me just speed it up can oops there we go. let me just talk about it in a bit faster way okay so once again like okay so dump basically here i'm just dumping my focus so that i don't focus capturing the blood price as soon as i cannot cast um uh aim shots up here i'm just casting double steady while i'm falling okay, once again you wait for the ads to come up soon as they spawn you a multi-shot then i do a aimed a rapid fire into aimed which is a mistake because you can see it here but the ads are dead by the time the aim shot ends if i done it in the opposite order the aim shot would have been gotten in and i would have gotten some value like half a rapid fire's worth of value on the ads so that's a mistake and also just okay so this time i, I judge that the explosive shot is too late but that's because the previous explosive shot was like half a second too late. You see how like it snowballs if you just delay things by a tiny, tiny bit? Alright, here's the next set of ads. Double steady. So once again, I'm a bit too late to the explosive shot party. Really wasn't playing optimally here. And then I do rapid fire into aim shot and it's the same mistake again. Cost myself a lot of damage here. Some focus before blood price. Get down to like 20 by casting this double arcane. There's another set of ads. As soon as they spawn, 
And then, I, so here we move the boss away and I just swap two of them to finish them off because we don't want to focus too much DPS on the boss. You might ha not have to do this, but that's the reason it's over there and, you know. Okay, and you just finish it up. Okay, now it's the end of the phase, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so if you, like, you can get some damage in if you get in here. Your top prior should be to try and sneak in an aim shot. I, I gave up on that and I just cast steady shots, but if you can get there early enough, you fire in an uh, aim shot and some um, arcane shots. So that while you're falling here, you're not capping on focus like I'm doing now. Okay, then as soon as you, um, you land, generally speaking, if you manage to get the aim shot off on the boss up there, then you put your first uh, serpent sting on the, um, the the sword here. You're like, you just tap target as you land and you just put the explosive shot up there. But as you land, so one thing I do wrong here again is, um, so you do the aim shot as soon as you land, then you do a double tap. I don't do the double tap here and that pushes it back and it hurts me later on. So you should do aim shot into double tap into double steady. And then, uh, let's see, so you target all the good stuff and then you just, you're just basically blasting here. Um, like full on uh, Mythic Plus opener. And this is with IQD as well, because it just naturally comes off CD here. And because, like, you've just landed. By the time you use IQD, which is like, right, like, everyone is at full on health. Like, the healers haven't spent all of their mana. Like, it's just, just gonna proc stats every time, like it does. Uh, I'm sure I aimed, uh, I aimed Arcane Rapid, and then, you know, just do the standard. It doesn't really matter if you get silenced that much, except for damage, because you can still kick while silenced. So, I mean, try and dodge them, but, like, you know, don't completely screw yourself over trying to do so. You can cast all your re relevant spells while silenced, so it really doesn't matter. Okay, so now that you get pumped in, I sh so I pop the explosive shot here if I'm any good. So that uh, by the time the sword has teleported in, it explodes onto it. So while you're running through here, it's important uh, to get an aim shot in on the sword before you run away. As soon as the impale has picked its targets, at least with our strat, of course it might be different for you. As soon as it's picked the targets, I just fucking cheetah and I just jeet through and hit it like a, you know, lose as little uptime as possible. Like, you see how fast it, it kind of goes, like, okay, I'm through, I fire one aim shot to get it off, two charges, impale goes out, cheetah, fucking jeet through, take the portal, like, target it midair and start rapid firing. As little downtime uh, as possible. And then you're just kind of pumping it, like, trying to, I don't use a volley here, save it for a better moment. Okay, now, so if you're a bit quick, you can start hitting the boss already. Like, you have to be close to the edge to actually have ranged on it. Okay, so now you can uh, f you use that double tap and uh, volley. You could probably save volley a little bit. And also, so here, like, I should be sinking these aim shots into the sword instead. But, like, on since it was progression and we were stopping DPS, I was kind of, you know, thinking more about mechanics. Um, like, don't be afraid... Like, don't be too aggressive on aim shots here, because you really want as many of them to cleave as possible. Like, if you can see that the, the sword is a bit out of um, range and you are ready to aim shot, like, just wait a little bit for the sword to come in and then you can actually trick shots, a uh, multi shot for a trick shots, and then your aim, aim shot will cleave. So be patient with your aim shots. Try and see if you can make every one of them cleave. Um, and don't, you know, as long as you don't, throw, like, a charge cap, you're completely fine. Okay, like, if you can try and sneak in an aim shot here, it's good, because then you're not focus capping while running through all this. Other than that, you know, it's just, like, straight up gaming skills, just dodging. Uh, here, once again, like, any moment that you can, tap target to the sword to get some uh, damage done on it. So this is a bit interesting. Like, here you want to move over uh, here rather early, because you want to be hitting these ads over here as soon as they spawn. So you can see how I'm, like, I'm moving ahead of the whole raid, and I'm just doing my thing. And it like, like I'm already in position by the time they spawn. Uh, and I like, as soon as they've spawned, I target this little circle here and I pop my wild spirits down on it. And you can see it's affecting both of these. And that's very important. And then I volley here. So wild spirits here and volley here. And then on the bus, it's just aimed. In this case, I uh, made a mistake by casting the rapid fire just before entering the CDs. But you get the idea. Aimed, rapid, aimed. Um... Try and like be greedy with some multi shots here to try and uh, extend the trick uh, trick shots as much as possible. But usually the sword will go away quite early and you can't quite get it, make it happen. As soon as you're through, if the boss is not there with you, you just tap target one of these and you just to get aim shot off two charges because it's very difficult to 
uh, not end that true shot there with um, with two charges. Double steady. Here once again, you know, I'm, I'm kind of trying to save a rapid fire to see if I can get trick shots, but I failed to do so. Okay, and there. So here, I actually briefly targeted. You see right here, I can see that the Ramonia now has done his um, impale and it's gonna run towards this. But like, I'm impatient, so I s briefly uh, swap target to it just to multi shot off of it. And you see, it multi uh, it hits the um, this Cabalist Ramonia himself. And this, uh, and I get trick shots. Whereas if I would have uh, multi shot at the boss here, it would just have hit these two and no trick shots. So I literally just swap to Remonia to use it as like a trick shot slave. And then I swap back. But as you can see, I'm not doing the multi shotting I should be doing here. And then I just, uh, you know, try and sneak in some volley up time here. And uh, by this point, like the phase is close to over, just trying to sneak in as many uh, aim shots as I can. And I'm saving this double tap for the start of phase 3, and now we're stopping DPS actually, because we're too fast in phase 2. You don't want to push 40.5% uh, health uh, until this timer is up. So I'm just doing nothing for a little bit. Okay. So now I'm just like preparing for phase 2. So I run towards the, the spot where we started. Double steady. Pre-double tap. Then he spawned like one global into it, I'm already explosive shotting, and I stand still and boom, it's aim shot uh, rapid fire. And you can see I hit two charges of aim shot briefly. Instead of going in to the face with like one charge, I'm, mac I'm actually min maxing the shit out of the amount of damage I can squeeze into this face. Because this is where we lost Hall of Fame to like a 400k wipe. I put everything into this face. It was the reason I ran explosive shot at the time. Okay, aim shot rapid fire, uh, double steady to get that up. Now I'm trying to dump focus, try to sneak in this aim shot before the knockback so that it doesn't prevent you from hitting aim shot and so you hit two charges. Dump focus once again because I know the um, blood price is coming. Here I actually failed to get this aim shot through, that's a mistake. While I'm falling, you know, be sure to hit abilities while you're falling, like just anything that works. In this case it was rapid fire. Try to greet this aim shot through, um, just as long as you can make it over here. Like, you really just don't want to be in the way of your melee here, but like here you're actually quite safe, but you just want to be over here soon to um, to do a soak. As soon as you're standing still, get the aim shot off, be greedy with them, run in for the knockback, don't get knocked back too far. Okay, this is going to depend a bit on strategy, but basically it's very placement sensitive, this Wild Spirits, because the boss has to be dragged over here. Uh, so you can't just pop Wild Spirits here where he is, because he's going to run out of it. So you pop it right here, basically, so that he's on the edge of it where he is now, you can see he's in it. But when he runs over, he is going to stay in it. And also, you know, right here, nothing's really happening mechanically. Uh, healers are not low on mana yet. IQD just proc stats. During the last, during the most important phase. It's sick. Uh, aim shot, rapid fire, aim shot. Then you like try and sneak in as much movement as you can here. Like every, like, every time I'm not casting an um, aim shot, I'm like try having uh, movement. Like every little steady shot of, uh, I get, I try to move. Because you really want to need to get over there. Let me just go back because it's going a bit quick. Um, yeah, let me just go back. Okay. So like double steady here and I move and I aim shot stand still and then rapid fire and I move. And you can see boss moves over here. And not out of the wild spirits. I'm just trying to pump as fast as I can. Obviously I get PI which is very helpful here. Just trying to be really aggressive. As soon as you uh, get this mechanic, you just fucking yeet yourself. Sometimes you'll, uh, like, post haste was enough here, but I could have probably have used Cheetah. Now it's very important that, so, that you get the fuck out of the way here, because you need to go around here and help your teammates. You just don't get, let the knockback take you into this. I, like, turn my character just in a way so it knocks me back here. I immediately get the aim shot off CD, because the blood price is coming, and I really don't want to be stuck on two charges for a long time. Hit the uh, kill shot as soon as it comes off CD, double steady to refresh, explosive shot to get it off CD when I land. Get the uh, aim shot off, do not let it hit two charges. Put down the volley, maybe it's a mistake, yeah I should have delayed the volley for a little bit. Here once again like it's a uh, 10 minute fight, so I cannot delay this double tap for basically anything, I just have to pop it immediately. It's just like single target, but like you're really trying to min max it around the movement and everything. Explosive shot directly off CD, kill shot directly off CD, hit this. Um, turtle this. Um, turtle the knockback there. And obviously, so let me just try and like slow this down a little bit. I'll just talk about it more slowly. So yeah, 
You get knocked here. Knockback is after this. So you just quickly turtle. As soon as you see everyone get knocked back, like right there, cancel the turtle. Uh, dodge your stuff. Place your thing. If, if, since I got the mechanic here, just place it close to this. Move over quick with aim shot uh, with Cheetah because I'm really keen to get this aim shot off uh, two charges. As soon as I can stand still, uh, hit it. And then I use my health pot there because I was getting a bit dangerously low and really, really need the DPS. Didn't want to risk an early death. Rather die uh, late than early. Uh, okay, so now after this the blood price, I'm just setting up for my CD. So double um, steady. So a bit of a mistake not to spend the um, get rid of the explosive shot earlier. Just being really, really aggressive here. Like, so uh, th this knockback is a bit special. So this knockback, you don't really have any counter for. You basically just have to soul shape immediately after it goes off. So like, bam, and a soul shape. And I immediately break soul shape to keep DPSing. And, you know, just basically do as much damage as you can. And, uh, yeah. Kill the boss, dodge. And, uh, yeah, GG. So I hope that helps. Any questions, hit me up on Discord. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you next week.